return merchandise authorization feature allows customers to register product return requests specifying the reason for the return and providing other related information. You can then handle requests through the return requests section in the admin panel. First, make sure the RMA add-on is installed and activated. The add-on settings have two checkboxes to set up the return period parameters. To set up a product return system, go to Orders – Return Requests. Click the gear button and choose the section to set up. Here you can add, modify and delete the reasons for product returns. In the RMA Action settings, set actions to perform when processing the request. And here are the request statuses. The customer can return only products marked as returnable. You can mark products on a product settings page under the add-ons tab. So let's make a return request on behalf of a customer so that you see how the return system works. Alright, I'm buying this Tycoon backpack, filling in payment info and placing the order. Now I go to the admin panel and change the order status to complete. OK. I can now request a return. In the order section, the customer clicks the order name and then request a replacement or a refund. Then he or she selects the product, its quantity, the return reason and types a comment. To make a request, the customer clicks return. That's it. The request appears on the orders return requests page and you can process it.